Hello everyone, and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Spoilers for the young and the restless on Monday, October 23, it was revealed that Victor Newman will be under more pressure to cease his painful gaming habits. Nicky Newman disapproves of Victor's strategies for pressuring his kids and attempting to determine who will turn against him. Victor, though, will be assured that his plan would provide him a prompt and conclusive outcome. Victor will not give up, even with all the drama he's creating with his manufactured mental illness. If this keeps up, Nicky might threaten to tell the whole family what Victor is up to, but he'll reassure her with a promise. Nikki would ostensibly overlook it for a short while longer because Victor promises to reveal the betrayal he suspects and have things resolved as soon as possible. By and R spoilers claim that Nick Newman will cause some difficulty in the interim. Nick will occasionally send jumbled messages and Sally Spectra can wind up receiving them in a confused manner. It's possible that Sally may see Nick and receive a sense that he needs to talk about something. Nick may disclose a little about Victor before withdrawing once more and informing Sally that their relationship is finished. Nick using Sharon Rosales as a confidant instead might make Sally's situation even more difficult. Sally might be concerned that a love reunion between Nick and Sharon is imminent. Even if Sally has no influence over Nick's actions, now that they are both single, it may still hurt to see him spend time with his ex-wife. Regarding Nick's involvement in the Newman family dilemma, he will be the first to realize that Victor is merely acting insane. Nick will eventually piece together the deceit from the hints, and sometime during the week of October 23 to 27, he will confront Victor about the plot and demand explanations. After Nick figures out the puzzle, he will undoubtedly be furious with Victor for tricking him, Victoria Newman, and Adam Newman. As a result, Nick will furiously update Sharon. Keep checking back for updates on how Victor's family connections will be affected, as revealed by spoilers from the young and the restless, as he may face more criticism than he anticipated. You should go to CDL for amazing. The Restless and the Young Review October 20, Friday Tucker is furious after getting Ashley's message, Nate admits to Devon. According to the young and the restless spoilers for Friday, October, Victor Newman will question Nate Hastings about Adam Newman's performance as an assistant and appear nearly dissatisfied with his success. Victor will allude to Adam's tendency to follow orders too readily before Nate raises Adam's mental health issues with Victoria Newman. Nate will mention that he was once Victor's doctor and that he believes he would receive medical attention if necessary when Victor asks him what he thinks. When Nate later runs into Nicky Newman, he confesses that he didn't notice any strange behavior from Victor. Before going up against Victor alone herself in his office, Nicky would opine that perhaps her kids are misinformed. Victor will acknowledge he's not going insane once Nicky accuses him of purposefully alternating between clarity and bewilderment. Though Nicky will feel that this storyline is too harsh, Victor will discuss the distressing tendencies he has noticed in his kids. Nikki will stomp off because she needs time to process everything, but Victor won't believe it's any worse than one of his kids betraying him. Lily Winters and Devin Hamilton Winters will video chat with Jill Abbott at the Chancellor House. Jill acknowledges that her attempts to learn more about Mamie Johnson's motivations were fruitless. Jill will caution Devin and Lily, though, not to undervalue Mamie. Jill would feel as though she could understand exactly what they're going through if she could figure out why Mammy is rekindling their animosity at this time. Jill is going to video contact Victor later to get more information about the agreement he reached with Mamie. Victor will adamantly state that everything was legal, but Jill won't believe him if he didn't. When Tucker arrives up for a meeting, Mamie will tell him in her suite that this isn't a smart idea. Tucker will bring up Mamie and Nate's recent encounter and inform Mamie that Nate was a traitor. Tucker would claim that he wants Devon and Lily to have complete autonomy, while Mamie will counter that they vowed to keep out of each other's way. Tucker claims that having Nate that could ruin their accomplishment, but Mamie will not budge because he is family. 
Tucker will give in for the time being because there's no chance many can even persuade Nate to leave Newman Enterprises. Because it's a shared objective, there will also be discussion on pursuing Jill. Tucker will assure Jill that he would take care of her, but she will be irritated that he hasn't done it yet. Tucker will then go away to attend to other matters. Devon will attempt to tell Tucker that his day is booked when he texts him to ask him to lunch. Devon will agree to have a serious chat as long as Tucker calls and begs to have a cup of coffee together. In Friday's Y&R show, Devon will tell Tucker that it's difficult to let his guard down at the GCAC because he knows he could be taken advantage of. Devon will confront Tucker for not accepting full responsibility for their divorce and for threatening the Abbots, even though Tucker will try to put some gap between them back. Tucker will say he's not going after Jabot after acting like he was just venting to Jack Abbott and Billy Abbott. Tucker will ask whether it is possible to mend this breach and Devon won't know how to believe him. Devon would acknowledge that it is, but he will also imply that Tucker must be truthful in saying that he is not planning to get revenge on the Abbots and that he has no relationship to Mamie. Devon will find it difficult to accept that Tucker and Mamie are not connected given the glance he witnessed between them. Devon will call Tucker out on his foolish actions that continue to jeopardize their relationship. Devon will point out that things could get sticky because Ashley Abbott will eventually return to the area. Tucker will insist that all he wanted was for Ashley to prioritize him and would even go so far as to say that if she came through the door, he would want to make things right. Devon responds that he would do everything for the woman he loves, Abby Newman Abbott, when Tucker questions whether he would give up his aspirations for her. After deciding he needs to think things through, Tucker will eventually walk up to his suite and text Ashley to see if there's a way out of this. Tucker will smash his drinking glass in a fit of wrath when Ashley replies back, no. Lily will acknowledge to Mamie at Crimson Lights that she believes in her good intentions, but she will also believe Mamie wanted to completely unsettle Jill. She'll wonder what it will take to gain him another chance when the topic of conversation turns to Nate and Mamie's wish for him to be a part of Chancellor Winters. When Nate runs into Devon again at the athletic club, he suggests that perhaps they should cooperate to make Mamie feel at home. A small amount of tension will release, but Nate will want to be open and acknowledge that Mamie intends to bring him back to Chancellor Winters. Since he's content at Newman Enterprises, Nate will point out that he's not the one driving this idea. Devon will say that Nate needs to talk Mamie out of it before leaving. Nikki will warn about the chaos that could happen in Victor's workplace if Victor's children discover his trap. Victor would believe that the methods are justified in the end and be sure that the others will come to the same conclusion if the traitor is revealed. Since Nate is already wary, and is aware of Victor's abilities due to his assistance in staging his death, Nikki will be concerned. Victoria could be informed of Nate's concerns, but Victor will not back down from his insistence that one of his children will move quickly. Stay in for updates on the unsettling news that lies ahead. According to spoilers for The Young and the Restless, Victor's plot will include some unexpected turns. CTO will have more fantastic... According to the Young and the Restless teaser video for the week of October 23 to 27, Nick Newman is going to be furious over an incredible revelation. Nick will come clean to Sharon Rosales about Victor Newman's deception about his mental illness after learning the truth. Sharon will gradually realize that Victor must be pulling a sophisticated prank when Nick confirms that his dad is still as shrewd and crafty as ever. According to Y and R spoilers, Nick will verify that and appear incensed at Victor for misleading his own family over such a crucial matter. Christine Blair Williams will meet Danny Romolotti on the Crimson Lights patio once she gets back from her trip to Lisbon. Christine will become emotional as Danny inquires about Paul Williams' well-being and requests updates on the trip. Christine will grieve over her marriage ending and leaving Paul behind in Portugal, since she will acknowledge the trip was not good. Christine will attest that the divorce is taking place, despite the fact that Paul and Christine sincerely tried to work things out. 
Danny will then have the chance to console Christine and develop a stronger bond with her, as it is obvious that he would like a romantic reunion. The Abbott Mansion will next give Diane Jenkins Abbott a surprise when she enters the living room and sees Ashley Abbott on her phone. Ashley will amiably welcome Diane, who will appear shocked by Jack Abbott's sister's unexpected return from Paris. Diane might inquire about Ashley's well-being following her breakup with Tucker McCall, but Ashley might question Diane's sincerity. Having said that, it's good to see Ashley has softened in Diane's company. When they cross paths again, Diane will seem completely unconcerned, unlike the previous time when the mere sight of her would make Ashley lose her cool. Now that Ashley is back in the area, Diane might start to wonder what she will do, so Ashley might drop hints that she has some plans for Tucker. Tucker needs to be ready for everything since Ashley won't stand by and watch him pursue Jebot in any scenario. Keep an eye out for the news as it breaks. Spoilers for the young and the restless indicate that Ashley's homecoming will provide some support for the Abbots. You should be at CDR for the amazing. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.